Bruce Springsteen cover band, the B Street Band, has had their Facebook fan page flooded with hateful and threatening messages. And the lead vocalist tells me it's all over one major misunderstanding. Somebody posted on another comment section on another page that I should kill myself. Thank you. I caught up with Glenn Stewart at his home in Fanwood, New Jersey, and he is furious that so many fans believe that the B Street Band has been a traitor to Springsteen. Now, he wants to be clear that the band is performing at the Garden State Gala in Washington, D.C. on Thursday, the day before Trump's inauguration. And Springsteen, a.k.a. the boss, has been extremely vocal about his distaste for the president-elect, calling him a flagrant, toxic, narcissist. Takes one to know one, right? <laughs> Since all the controversy, the band says they haven't heard anything from Springsteen. I just want it to be understood what the reality of this situation is. We have been Bruce Springsteen fans for 35 years. We respect his music. We try to play it to the best that we can do. We respect his persona. We respect what he stands for. Had this been a Donald Trump event, I don't think I personally could have gone and played it. Now, the B Street Band was contracted by the NJ Society Gala in 2009 to celebrate President Obama's inauguration and performed at his inauguration also in 2013. They were immediately booked for the 2017 gala because everyone loves their flair and flavor. And uh, they said this was before they ever knew who would become the next president. It's an event put on by a group called the New Jersey Society. It's an organization of business people. It's an event that they do every four years at the inauguration time, regardless of who wins the election, be it a Democrat, Republican, Independent, Zebra, whatever. Now, over the years, the B Street Band has performed at a number of political events for both parties. And I did reach out to Springsteen's reps and uh, yeah, waiting on a response. Mm. But we haven't heard nothing from his management people. We have heard nothing from his legal staff. We have heard nothing from him. If Bruce Springsteen was to contact us in some way and say, look, I don't want you to do this, then we would gladly, you know, accept his advice and not do it. I'll just send him a note on Twitter. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I think he kind of blocked you, Bill. You know, I'm a you know, big I'm Bruce, a fan. Bruce fan. He's not He's a fan, not of, fan mine. of mine. Oh, God. Oh, God. Stop with the crazy. Stop with the nastiness. We're all in the same boat and he's the captain of our ship, whether you like him or not. Inauguration is American tradition, it's very important. Let's support this guy and give him a shot. There's a reason why so many A-list celebrities have declined playing at the inauguration because they say being there and performing actually shows their support. Right, but, but I'm saying he should step up and be a man about it. Don't backpedal, so just own it, who cares? All right, thank you.